And uh, you are watching and listening to Alistair Stewart and Friends on GB News. Thanks for being with us since noon, or if you've just joined us at a little after one o'clock, welcome. Uh, it's now time for this week's Good Cause. A Stafford couple have urged residents to donate items to a newly launched Ukraine relief initiative on Facebook that saw a thousand members join in just three days. Darius Bieleski and his wife Marzina created the Stafford Helping Ukraine Facebook group to help support the estimated 830,000 refugees fleeing the conflict with Russia. And I'm delighted to say uh, that they join me now, uh, as does another volunteer here there, uh, Jane Donovan. This is quite extraordinary. I mean, th it's interesting that Facebook is in the news because Russia's fallen out with Facebook and it's shut down and what have you. But, but you're using the power of social media to bring people together. Uh, tell me how you did it. Well, I uh, started from me, started uh, from like a little thing, feeling I need to do something because we are from Poland. Uh, obviously, living here, we still have our families in Poland and I just search that is it anything going on in Stafford and Stafford area, you know, about any donations, any help, and I couldn't find anything. So I thought, oh, I need to do something. I can't just sit uh, and do nothing when the war is next door. So I posted little, little information on my um, Facebook wall saying, I would like to do this. Uh, can anybody join? But first of all, I asked my, my husband, are you fancy to go for a family trip to London to collect some items, you know, for first aid. And that's how this all started. Yeah. Darius, let me bring you in there, because your brother is in Poland right now. Have you spoken yeah. about the number of people uh, seeking refuge there? Because the, the, the figures are staggering. Oh, yes. I mean, we all know now Poland is, is taking about 70 percent of the refugees to Poland already. Uh, I mean, and the numbers are going up. Like, I think we already, I cannot mm -hmm. remember the top of my head, but I think it's about four, uh, 500,000 uh, refugees going to Poland. This is incredible. Nothing never happened like this in the, in the, in the history. You know, this is... I mean, it makes me feel very emotional because uh, Poland and all the countries, you know, they're doing the best... Uh, to help Ukraine, you know, and, and this is all about. Yeah. And Jane, um, great of you to join us as well. Uh, tell us, I'm going to get down to the kind of the nitty gritty of it. How does it work and what items particularly are you looking for? So we're, we've sent off a lorry of aid that's on its way now. Um, of all sorts of things that were requested at the time. I think the problem is it's changing daily, really, what the biggest needs are. So we're going to take some time this week to liaise with the right agencies and make sure we're sending appropriate stuff. But it's looking like clothing and bedding is, is fine over there now. But first aid items and medical equipment and, and ongoing, I think, toiletries and kind of the basic kit of things people need as they arrive is what's going to be most needed over the coming weeks. Yeah. Well, I think it's an absolutely brilliant plan. And I want to finish off with Mazena there in the middle, um, because you will know from having looked at the newspapers and listening to television and radio uh, that the DEC appeal has raised over 50 million pounds in 24 hours. So you're up against it. You're up against it in terms of the competition. Uh, what's the ambition? What's the target? Uh, well, I, uh, as much as we could, you know, we do everything for the goods, you know, we, we trying to help people and, uh, looks like we inspire so many people, so many people involved. And I would like to thank you every single one involved because there's a lot of thousands of people. We even don't know who are actually helping us, you know, behind just the scenes, a small chain we, we, we just like, yeah, you know, we are like a little chain. Yeah. yeah. And just one final thing that, that, that strikes me, and it was something that Darius said a moment ago about the good people of Ukraine and the good people of Poland coming together. And then there's Jane there, uh, a, a Brit, I'm assuming, Jane. There's something, I'm going to get all emotional now, but there's something rather special about when, when you've got nations in conflict, ordinary people can still say, no, we're going to rise above that. We're going to do the right thing. Three nodding heads. I love it. Go on, Jane, tell me what it means to you. Um, we, so I've done work before with uh, Afghan refugees and Syrian refugees as well. And actually, it's about humanity, isn't it? And, you know, giving people dignity. You know, there's no competition here. We're all working for the same cause and coming together to help people who just desperately need help at the moment. 
You're great. Darius, Mazena, Jane, all of you, uh, good luck. And um, uh, Darius, very, very quickly, give us the, give us the address on Facebook. Uh, Stafford helping Ukraine. You can help us. Uh, you can find us on the page. We'll be updating because I'm sure this isn't going to finish like this. We will be helping. Yeah, everything changing with an every hour. Everything is changing. <laughs> yeah. You know, not only on our Facebook group in the whole world. Yeah. So please, please keep your eye on the Facebook page in the uh, join. And if you could help, just come and join us. Will do. Three good people. Thank you all very much indeed. Uh, love to Stafford and love to all of you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank